2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also, and the works that there are in, shall be burned up. Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shah, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and Great Millstone. And Barakatham to you, brothers, decided teaching this truth with faith and sincerity. And I want to go into in this lesson how America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by nuclear by nuclear missiles okay and this is jeremiah chapter 50 verse 23 how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken how has babylon become a desolation among the nations and and babylon is america man and this place will be turned into a desolation by nuclear missiles because all the countries, you got China, you got Russia, you got the uh, NATO, which is supposed to be America's allies, but they're going to turn against America, man. And and when they do that, they're going to they're going to shoot nuclear missiles towards America, aimed at America, man. And 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 America's downfall is in the Bible, man. It's prophesied in the Bible, man. Okay? And this is Revelation chapter 17, verse 12. And the ten horns which thou sawest, Salakia. Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Once again, this is America, man. And the ten horns, the ten horns, if you go into the word horns, it means powers, man. And, and NATO... Is going to turn America's own own alliance is going to turn against America and join Russia and China into shooting nuclear missiles over here, destroying this place, man. I'm going to turn this place into a fucking desert, man. Make this place desolate and naked, okay? And how you think they're going to they're going to do it with these nuclear missiles, man? Is going to burn her with fire. They're going to turn this place into a desolation, man. Nothing's going to be left, man. Like in 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 Second Peter chapter 3, it's going to melt the elements, man. It's going to melt everything. It might be hundreds of thousands of nuclear missiles in the air. And it's all going to be aimed at America. It's all going to have a certain target to hit right here in America, man. And this is uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And that sinful kingdom is America, man. That sinful kingdom is the most wicked kingdom on, on planet Earth, man. Esau is wicked, man. The so-called white man, he, he the fucking devil, man. And uh, he then took the food and made GMOs. He then polluted the air. Okay? Look what he doing to the damn animals in the ocean. Damn whale had 18 gallons of plastic poured out of his stomach, man. What type of wicked shit is that, man? And it, Amos chapter 9, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. 
and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And only the 144,000 elect will be saved from this coming destruction to America, man. Only 144,000. Twelve from the twelve tribes, respectively. Okay. Twelve thousand. Okay. And the only way you could be saved is if you repent and you doing the work. Okay. And this is Proverbs chapter twenty two. Verse 3, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Okay? So if you're hearing this truth and you hear a prophet saying America is going to be destroyed and you don't heed this truth and you just continue to go about your day in America as if you never heard it, you're going to be punished for that, man. You're going to be punished by either in Jacob's trouble or if you survive through that, you're going to have a damn nuclear missile waiting for you, man. But a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Hideth himself in your how about shimmy, how shot, man. By praying, by doing the work. And by doing the work is uh, it's teaching what you didn't learn, man. And continue to teach in what you then learn. Me, never ceasing to do this until they, until the elite get ready to, to block YouTube entirely, man. Because they didn't already stop brothers from going live, from live streaming. Because they need a certain number of subscribers. So they didn't already stop brothers with, with small channels from, from live streaming the truth. So they next step is to is to man. Is to uh is to stop us from putting this troop up entirely, man. And when they do that, the the elect will be sealed by then. If they, if not already, man. So and this is Amos chapter eight. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, man, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. So pretty soon it's going to be a day where you ain't going to be able to go on YouTube and find the prophets prophesying, man. Because they would have then took everything off the internet. And yeah, they got the power to do it. Esau, the fucking devil, has the power to take everything about dealing with this truth off the internet, man. Just look at what he did to uh forget his name. But he had a channel on YouTube, on Facebook, on all that dealing with uh conspiracies. And I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name of this dude's channel. But they completely took that dude off off every social media platform, man. They completely took that dude off every social media platform. And and that's what they're gonna do. To this truth right here, man. Because all Hebrew Israelites, they all teaching that you're an Israelite, but their doctrine differs from GMS doctrines, okay? They not teaching what GMS is teaching. That America is going to be destroyed. That we're going to be restored to our rightful place, man. And those other GMS and those other uh Israelite camps, 
are going to be like the motherfucking scapegoat for going after everyone. For going after everyone that claims to be in Hebrew Israelite. And that's what they're going to do during Jacob during Jacob's trouble, man. They're going to be sending brothers to concentration camps for not taking the mark of the beast. And, and brothers going to be in there getting their heads chopped off, man. For not taking that mark of the beast chip, which is the RFID chip, man. That's pretty much all I want to on in this lesson. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And shalom to the hopefully elect.